everybody, it's Holly and happy holidays. How are you doing? I hope you're having a fun crafting day. Uh, today I'm gonna show you, it's called a never ending card. And it's so funny, as I was making this card, I started singing the never ending story. You know that never, anyway, I'm not gonna sing it for you. <laughs> But I did they sing that song in Stranger Things? I'm trying to think, you know, the guy with the curly hair was singing it to his, anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. But when I thought about making a never ending car, for some reason, I keep singing the never ending story. <laughs> so anyway, maybe look that up and then you can sing it while you make your never ending card. <laughs> but let me show you how cute this is. I did not come up with this. I saw this idea on Pinterest. I also have a cut file on my Silhouette design store, but I realized that a lot of you don't have a cutting machine, so I have gone through and figured out measurements so that you can make this without a cutting machine. But this is so fun and so interactive. Let me just show you. So it starts out, and I think this would be so cute to write like a little Christmas message. I just put kiss me under the mistletoe. But then that opens up, and then that opens up, and then that opens up, and then that opens up. Isn't that so stinking cute? So let's try it again. I just have fun playing with it. That opens, and then that opens, and then that opens, and then you're back to the beginning. I kind of think that my little grandkids would kind of have fun uh, just playing around with this. Isn't it just so fun? So let's go ahead and get started. Have you made one of these before? Um, there's lots of little pieces, but I've figured out all the measurements. And so probably the best thing is I will give you all the measurements, get all your papers cut, and then we'll actually put together the base. And then my suggestion is to decorate it after the base is complete, kind of be creative and do that after the base. So let's go ahead. Let me give you the measurements and but let's start with the base. So you will need four pieces and I'm just using plain white cardstock. You could certainly use, you know, uh, some Christmas paper. I thought it might be a little bit busy because I'm covering it with paper. So I just use the plain white, but you know, feel free to be creative and do whatever. Uh, colored cardstock would be great too, but you'll need four pieces. Now these pieces measure five by two and a half. Okay, and you'll need four. Now what you wanna do is bring in your scoreboard and you want to score all four of these at a one and a fourth inch. So one and a fourth, okay? Flip your paper around and score it at one and a fourth. Okay, and you wanna do that for all four. So one and a fourth, flip your paper and one and a fourth. Okay, two more. So how are you guys? What are you making for Christmas? I would love to know what projects you're working on. I, I always like to read through the comments and then I get inspiration from what you guys are making. It's like, oh my gosh, I should try that. So let me know what you're making. I'd certainly be interested. Um, do you have all your Christmas decorations up? Are you in the process? Is it done? You know, I tend to usually wait until after Thanksgiving and then boom, everything explodes and Christmas is at the Taylor house. <laughs> okay, so we've got all four of our bases. Okay, once again, these measure five by two and a half and you score them at one and a fourth on both sides, okay? Then what you'll want to do, and like I say, I probably the best suggestion would be to go through and cut all your papers. Okay, let me show you the paper that I'm using. It's called Christmas Basics, and I just got this at Hobby Lobby, but I love it. Everything is just simple, it coordinates, and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be really good for this project. And you can kind of see the sample of all those. And one thing with Hobby Lobby, I don't know if you've noticed, but it gets to be around Christmas and almost every single week their Christmas is 50% off. So don't spend $12.99 on the paper because you can definitely find this for 50% off. Anyway, I think that's a pretty good deal to get this for, what, six and a half bucks? And just real cute, simple design. So that's what I decided to go with for this project. Um, what you will need is you will need six of these squares. Now these squares 
measure, let's see, they measure two and a fourth by two and a fourth, and you will need six of those, okay? And they can all be the same, they can, you know, coordinate, whatever. Then you are going to need 14 of these rectangles, okay? And these measure uh, two and a fourth by one and a sixteenth. So two and a fourth by one and one sixteenth. And then you will need, let me find my little bitty ones. These are one by one, okay? One inch by one inch, and you will need eight of those. So like I say, probably the best is to get your papers cut. I also cut a few pieces that were just smaller because I thought it would be cute to have like little messages on there. And so by layering, you know, just a little bit of white, you could certainly write a cute message. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move my papers out of the way. Let's take our four base pieces, okay? So there's one, two, three, four, okay? So have two of them going this way and two of them going this way. And I'm gonna go ahead and just fold on those creases, get the paper kind of trained. It'll make it so that it bends a little bit easier when you are putting your card together. Okay, so the one thing with this project is you really have to be exact. You need to make sure that all of this lines up. And so I'm gonna show you where we're going to be putting the glue. You don't wanna go past the halfway mark with your glue. So I'm just gonna kind of show you. So we've got the four squares. We're gonna put glue here, glue here, glue here, and glue here. And we're going to be putting this on top and this on top. But the thing is we need to make sure, you need to make sure that it lines up. Otherwise this card does not work. <laughs> so whether you're using wet glue or adhesive, just make sure you have one tiny square in each corner, but you don't go below the middle mark, okay? So let me just kind of show you. Just gonna maybe go a little bit slower, make sure I get this on exact. I did try this with hot glue and I didn't get it on exact and it was dry. <laughs> so I had to start over. So maybe a wet glue or an adhesive so you have a little bit of play time. So if we've got our glue or our adhesive here, 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 here. Now we're going to take our two pieces that are this way and we want to line them up. So line that right up in the corner. Okay, you wanna make sure that's exact. Then we're going to take this and line it right up in this corner. And take your time on this, guys, because this is like a make or break. So you wanna make sure all of this is lined up and this makes a true square. So that's gonna go right up there in that corner and right down there. And like I say, a little bit of extra time just to make sure that you get this all correct will make it so your thing uh, moves really easy. So let me press that down really good and I'll show you how fun. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just going to Bend that backwards, okay? And then let's bend this one backwards and kind of crease it. We're training our paper. Now we're gonna bend our paper up this way and kind of crease it. We're gonna bend it this way and crease it and bend it this way. We are ready to decorate. So was that simple? What do you think? So I'm gonna bring in all of my pieces and you know what? It's just however you want to decorate. Just have fun. I thought this paper was so cute because it all, you know, went together. I'm gonna kind of put them in piles of all my pieces and then I can choose a little bit easier. I fell into like the Pinterest rabbit hole. Sometimes I get on Pinterest and I could spend hours on there just looking at the fun and creative things that people are making. I love it, love it, love it. What about you guys? <laughs> okay, so let's just go ahead. Um, I'm going to decorate and let's see how our little project turns out.
Yeah, I do think it's easier. Get the base all ready and then go ahead and do your decorating. So do you, what kind of traditions do you guys have at Christmas time? Do you have things that you do every single Christmas that you look forward to? I'm trying to think, you know, other than our, our big family Christmas dinners, um, we do, of course, we all try to get together on Christmas Eve. But as far as traditions, um, I think now that I have grandkids, it would be fun to start some, you know, fun things with them that they can look forward to. Do you know what I mean? Now, my grandkids are little, but of course, now is a good time to start. Start when they're little, and then they would look forward to, you know, some of the fun things that what grandma and grandpa do. <laughs> it's so wonderful being grandma and grandpa. I love it. I love it. I love it. In fact, you know, I don't know about you guys, but don't you think there's so much magic at Christmas time with kids? You know, they're just their eyes light up and it just, it really just makes Christmas, I think. Okay, where do I want to go? There's so many fun colors here. So I think we'll do red there. You know, there's so many different choices that this could really turn out. <laughs> this could turn out different each time you make it. Now, you know, one thing you can do is I went ahead and I embellished mine and it folds up just good as long as the embellishments aren't too big. But you know, certainly, you know, you the paper's cute enough that you could just leave it blank if you wanted and just have it be, you know, the fun, cute paper. The name of the game is whatever works for you. Whatever works. It did take me a couple tries when I first uh, tried this card because like I say, you really need to make sure that all your corners are lined up or it doesn't fold. <laughs> it just doesn't fold. Okay. I think maybe I'll use this cute paper. Okay, so four more. Sometimes it's hard to decide. What do I want to use? Ooh, that gingerbread is cute. Now, I think I've gone a little bit more uniform, but you know, you could certainly make it super crazy and just, you know, have it be super eclectic, if you know what I mean. Okay, so, okay, we are done. So I had some extra papers. Once again, I did make a couple of just blank white papers and I'm just going to put them, oh, here and there because I think a little message is cute. So maybe one there. And I just cut this slightly smaller, we'll put one there. And then we'll, I think we'll make one more little white one. Okay, I think we'll put one more little white one then we can have a cute message. And now we are ready to do some fun decorating. And I think because all of these colors match, let's see if I have enough room for some of these things. They may be too big, but we'll see. So look, that's cute. Put that there. It's so fun because it's like, who knows? I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out until I actually make it. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Holly jolly. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's see if there's one more. Now this once again is a Doodlebug cardstock stickers. Now I did get these probably a year ago. So um, I'm not sure if they still have these. I'm wondering if I could get that Christmas on there. That's kind of big, but let's see what I could put on here. 
I like that little candy. I'll put candy. Okay, so it's a little bit more plain. So I think I'm gonna just add maybe some stains. St oh, that's cute, stocking. Morning. That Santa tag is like super cute, but I think it's too big, but I bet I could cut it down and we could make it work. Oh yeah, that will work fine. Okay. These circles are just the right size for these little one inch squares. So I'm going to put them here. Now, technically, I probably didn't even need to cover them with paper, but you can still see a little bit of the paper, so I think it looks cute. Okay, I think we need one more thing there. I wonder if I could get that Christmas on there. I bet if I cut it down, like, oh, I did. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh yeah, this is a fun little Christmas set. Okay, we need one more thing there. And I think if I put that diagonal, that would work. I actually think, I don't want it to be too gaudy, and you know how that happens like really fast, so. I think we may call this done. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so there is the front. Yeah, those stickers, I love how it really matched. And that opens up. Look how cute Santa and Holly Jolly. And then those open up. And then that opens up. And once again, it opens up again. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Now all we need is to play the never ending story Never ending, oh, I can't sing. I'm not gonna sing, so don't get me going. <laughs> Let me bring in my other one. That was a really, really fun, interesting little craft. You know, it, so many different ways that this can turn out. But I think it was fun. Please feel free to message me if you have any questions. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It was wonderful to have you along. I love crafting and have, being a part of the crafting community. You guys are so supportive and amazing. I hope you have a fun crafting day. And hey, if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love, love, love to have you subscribe to my channel. So have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.